Hey, I'm Max and the goal for today's video is to find one of the cheapest options to eat in Singapore and one of the most expensive options. So the difference between these two options is at least 100 times. Let's go! That's the thing I'm using to get around my area. But for now the main goal is not to get hurt making videos and riding a scooter at the same time. Singapore has its reputation as one of the most expensive places on earth. But this is simply not true. The confusion comes from the lots of luxury options that are available in Singapore. And also because it's a home of so many billionaires. But the variety of choices for any budget are huge here. Especially when it comes to going out. So my first challenge for today is to find the cheapest possible meal. And for this, I decided to go to Alexandra Village Food Court, which is just next to the Interlace Condo, where I live. Okay, now we need to find the cheapest dish, all right? That's our goal. Okay, let's go check it out. Roasted duck rice, $4, $5. $5. Okay, so they have barbecue pork, $3, $4. That's not bad at all. So, $3 dish. Okay, basically, chicken rice is for sink dollars, pork rice, $4. $4, four and a half. Five dollar, um, three and a half. Also not bad. Chicken rice, three dollars. The pork from the first place, beating everything, three dollars. So basically, we need to find something cheaper than three dollars. I think it's impossible. It's already so cheap. Plain tom yum soup, one dollar. Did you see it? Plain tom yum soup, one freaking dollar. Okay, let's check her out. One dollar soup. No, just this one. Okay, I think I still be hungry after this one. It's a freaking one dollar soup. Okay, so I think I go for pork as well, and I also get a drink. So let's see if I can spend less than five dollars for it. A barbecue pork still can? Yeah. Yeah, the small one. Yeah. No worries. Okay, I just spent four dollars. I need to spend one more dollar for a drink. I don't know if you can buy the drink for a dollar. You have something for a dollar? Huh? You have something for one dollar? Oh no. No. <laughs> Passion fruit juice. Okay. Let's get some lunch. First of all, I want to try just the soup. And if I'm not hungry after just the soup, I would officially say that I can eat for one Singapore dollar in Singapore. I have a, like a proper lunch, but let's see. Okay, what is inside? Um, some mushroom, probably no meat, tomato, uh, some greens, um, basically that's it. Okay, just the soup first, no drinks. People say Singapore is expensive and I don't agree with that. I think it is expensive, but it's normal expensive compared to other big cities. It's legit tom yum. Oh, spicy. But I cannot drink, because if I drink, I spend my two dollars. I want to actually get full out of this one dollar for just a plain tom yum. You know what? I feel alright. Actually, I think I can survive on this one dollar tom yum for like three hours, four hours, easily. Because it's also like it's spicy. And because it's spicy, you don't feel like you are that hungry after having it. So basically, I can say that I can, and you can as well, eat in Singapore for one dollar. If you go for lunch and you have only one dollar, can, still can. All right, if I'm still hungry, let's go for this one. Okay, okay the drink, it's a passion fruit. Mm. Mm, that's a good one. Normally I would take mango juice because of that. I'm a big mango lover, but it was like two and a half, two dollars. 
50 cents and I couldn't spend like more than two dollars for a drink okay you can get like your tom yum and then just bring water with you that's it you're good to go actually I'm quite cool I'm not kidding it's perfect mm. I think I will not finish it not because it's not good but because like it's a lot of food if you have soup and then you have a, like a bowl of rice and then pork as well and then a big portion of drink it's actually it's a lot of food especially when you eat it on the one side not like when it's like in a fancy restaurant when it's like 20 times they, they, they serve you food like 20 dishes no it's like one or two legit portions of food that's it what else do you need some good barbecue pork and bowl of rice and some sauce I'm quite you know basic about the food so I can survive eating like pasta and rice and some greens and meat that's it I don't need like fancy options I remember when I was 20 I went to the States for the like, work and travel program it's, that's the kind of student exchange program and there we didn't have any money I was eating only just pasta spaghetti normally and tomato sauce <laughs> that's it I had like boiled boiled spaghetti and tomato sauce <laughs> it's cheap and, and you full after it <laughs> and uh, tomato sauce is actually what brings you flavor <laughs> for your food oh yeah don't forget to subscribe to this channel like, why? why? otherwise what's the point of living if you're not subscribed to this channel like? I think I'll finish it <laughs> okay the next challenge after I finish this meal would be to find a place and book a place for me and my wife like the nice you know expensive place and I need to find like something that would be really different from the cheap affordable option in Singapore and I couldn't go there by myself because like it would be a disaster if I go to a fancy place and don't take my wife with me all right I finished my meal and you know what I'm really satisfied okay in Singapore you can eat proper lunch for just one dollar if you're hungry you add another three dollars and this is proper proper lunch your soup and your meat and your carbs if you like want something fancy you just add up two dollars and you get a drink so one dollar option four dollar option and you have your own water with you or six dollar option like maximum maximum that's amazing okay now let's go to find some fancy expensive restaurant okay my next challenge is finding a fine dining place and spending as much money as possible well also to have a great time with my wife of course but what i see already is that the difference between the cheapest and the most expensive options to eat in singapore is way more than 100 times which is insane to be honest for our next place i've chosen a french michelin star restaurant called jack it's an acronym for jeremy anand gastronomy there are two co-owners Jeremy is the chef and Anand is a managing director. The restaurant has a no menu approach, so basically you cannot choose what to order. Strange, yeah? Jack is famous for supplying a lot of ingredients from France, especially seasonal vegetables. This is a small cozy restaurant with just 6 tables and a maximum capacity of 14 people. Okay, let's check it out! I mean, like, there is no um, selection or anything, it's just like one menu. Okay. One menu. Just one menu, no selection. In my favorite hawker center, I can select, I can choose wherever. Nazdarovia. <laughs> If we're hungry, we go to McDonald's after. <laughs> this is how we drink vodka in Russia. But we drink vodka first and then we eat bread. And sniff bread. Sniff and then eat. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, the fish shops, you mean the, the one that's added in the middle? Hmm. No fish shops or what's that? Mm. Nice. I think Jack one of the tastiest places, like in terms of the taste of food. Like it's really yummy. Maybe it's not the, the most sophisticated interior, but the, the food is like, wow. So, hello, good evening, welcome. How's everything going? Just beginning. We just begin. <laughs> bon appétit, I will come back later to see if everyone's alright.
Russian sturgeon, 15 to 18 years of age. Good balance between nastiness and salt. Mm. Russian, you said? Where are you from? From Russia. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why. Hagila. Хорошо. О, спасибо, пожалуйста. Russian caviar. Настарубья. Спасибо. First you smell, it smells like south of France, then you taste, and then you just wait the feeling after you taste it. So what's the reason for us to come today for this special event? Just to celebrate my love for you. Your love to me? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very little portion of soup. My mom wouldn't trust the place. Such a small portions. She wouldn't approve. That's amazing. I love it. Different kind of mushrooms and some protein. They said it's organs. Organs. <laughs> we don't know which organs. Enjoy. That was not a main course. No, that yeah. was yeah, oh, one shit. of the main course. I'm already like, I'm, like full. <laughs> endless power. All right, finally, that's the main course, and this is pigeon. <laughs> battery died on my camera, so I'm finishing on my iPhone. Food is not finished. Your battery is finished. But food is still on. Yeah. And total is 966. 966. Jack. The meal. Uh, 596 for two. That's wine and champagne. 40 and 58 for glass. And seven water. Sparkling water is good, just seven. 22 is your digestive yeah this one okay and total is 966 okay that was a great experience when i started this experiment i didn't expect to find two places with such a significant price difference but that's how things are in singapore if you want a casual lunch for a few bucks here you go and if you'd like some luxury experience for a thousand bucks also can and that's why i love singapore okay don't forget to subscribe to this channel and see you next time